Hello all Dennisars, I'm Den and yes, we have just reached 1 million subscribers and I want to say a huge thanks to every single one of you so stay tuned for this video, we are doing a new shelf tour as I've just moved into my new place and will be doing a giveaway as well so stay tuned and let's go We will do a tour on the new Basement Dino Dungeon Level 2 Jurassic Midlands And Level 3 I haven't think of a name for this Level 3 shelf so I need the help of you guys, okay? So let's go Okay guys, so I'm gonna start off with my most favorite section which is the Level 2 Jurassic World Midlands, okay? I'll be doing a giveaway so stay tuned for the video and I'll let you guys know which dinosaurs I am giving away at the end of this video, okay? But stay tuned because you need to pay attention in this video because I'll be asking you questions. Otherwise, you won't be able to get the giveaway items. So let's go, okay? So let's begin with this section right here, okay? So this is basically like a four shelf system, okay? So if you take a look at this, I'm making this like a little gallery. So let's take a look at the first shelf. Right at the top, you can see different T-Rex, okay? And the first level, you can see different attack packs. This are the latest one in front. And you have some older ones behind. Plenty of um, Dracorex. And here's some Gallimimus. Sora Peltar, you know, Sticky Moloch and stuff. We still have some space at the back to cater for the new attack packs, okay? Second row, still the attack packs. So these are basically all the different Velociraptors. Right behind, you can see the entire row of different Velociraptors. Okay, and moving forward, you can see different um, carnivores and prehistoric animals. Okay, you have the Dimetrodon, you have the Monolophosaurus, Herarisaurus, Matriocanosaurus, you know, Proceratosaurus, Silurus, and the Lophosaurus. And over here, we have a herd of Stegosaurus and Triceratops. This is a repainted version, really nice, I love it. You know, this is actually uh, my most favorite Stegosaurus. And a different Triceratops, Robert Vores, you know, Dewar Attack, and Pecky Rhinosaurus right over here. And we'll be making space for the new Cynoceratops. And this section definitely has to be one of the main highlights of this shelf. We have different carnivores placed in um, multiple poses with the Carnotaurus on elevated stands, you know, to make this section look much more appealing. All right, you have Tarbosaurus, you have Albutosaurus, Sucomimus, Sarcosuchus, Majungasaurus, you know, Seat's Mikorum, Concavenators right over here, Crylophosaurus, looks really nice. Okay, moving on to the next row, you can see all these are little figures right over here, minute figures, okay? Some of them are actually from McDonald's, you can see, you know, my latest review on that. Some mini basic figures behind. These are the minute figures which are pretty common. And moving on to the back, you can see some cup toppers, all right? I've basically placed all my minifigures on this level. And moving on to the last level of this first shelf, you can see I am displaying some items over here in their boxes. Some of them, I actually got them um, myself because I really love them and I want to keep them in their original packaging. But of course, the main reason is that I want to do a giveaway. I'll be doing a giveaway on one of this 15 mini actions dinos. I'll be giving away another Spinosaurus. This is really rare. Extreme Chomping Spinosaurus. I'll, I'll be giving away this one as well. As well as an epic Roaring T Rex. Okay, so stay tuned for this video to find out how you can actually win this dinosaur. Moving on to the second shelf, which is right in the middle, okay? We have another row of um, 
carnivores, you have um, Matriacanthosaurus, you have different baryonyx, Ceratosaurus, Allosaurus, and what's this? Another Allosaurus from Jurassic Park. On top, you can see a Spinosaurus, you know, all by herself. And another one at the top. Okay, so moving on to the second row, you can see different herbivores. Amagosaurus, um, Parasaurolophus, and Calosaurus, and Mon at Monosaurus, and Bumpy. Yeah, Bumpy is the latest addition um, from Camp Cretaceous. Next, we have a section for pterosaurs. I'm gonna be doing like, you know, some of them like hanging from the top of this shelf. So I'll be doing that maybe probably in the next video. Next section will be the Indoraptor section. You can see this is a self-made diorama made of uh, foam and tissue, which I really, really love it, all right? So we have different Indoraptors right over here, some minifigures. And this one right in the middle is actually the battle damage Indoraptor that comes with this Triceratops sculpture. To simulate that scene where, you know, Indoraptor was actually being um, destroyed or, or hurt by uh, the Triceratops sculpture. And here are some other Indoraptors. Moving on to the next row. So basically, this section right here is still work in progress. I have basically plenty of space to cater for, you know, next year's uh, Jurassic World Dominion figures. Some figures in the boxes right over here. And you can see some individual figures right here. Indominus Rex versus T-Rex, okay? You have blue, and you have Owen and Blue, a T-Rex skull, and a Jurassic Park Ultimate Trilogy. These are some basic figures. Yep, that's right. Six inch basic figures. And we have an empty shelf right here to cater for more space. Okay, and moving on to the third shelf, which is right in the middle, this corner shelf, which I really love it. Okay, let's take a look. So basically, this are all work in progress. You can see different T-Rex right over here. Mostly, uh, all of them are from Jurassic Park with the Thrasher T-Rex right behind, the young T-Rex, and this actually came in a DVD set. And here's a T-Rex over here. I'm gonna cater this space for a Mosasaurus from Prime One Studio, which I'm planning to get. You know, it's really, really nice. I love it. So I've just used the Baryonyx playset right over here with Claire climbing up the stairs. Okay, it looks really nice. I'll probably decorate this area, maybe the the you know the surroundings with some um, other equipment and stuff. Moving on to the next row in this shelf. We have different Indominus Rex over here, all right? We have the hybrid Rampage Indominus Rex. We have um, the Grab and Growl. We have the first Indominus Rex. We have the Indominus Rex with the Gyro Spear. Next section is basically still work in progress as well. You can see some nice 2015 Jurassic World T-Rex. And moving on to the last shelf, you can see some T-Rex sitting right on top. This row right here is basically all the 2015 Jurassic World figures. You can see all the different Velociraptors right behind, which I'll be really honest, I'm not a huge fan of them because they can't really stand as well. So I'm just leaning them against the, 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 the wall behind them, okay? And moving on with some Jurassic Park figures, okay? Yep, there you go. Another row, which are some vintage Jurassic Park figures as well. You can see that Stegosaurus, which I have two of them. I got one from eBay because this was my old childhood toy. I lost that little piece of flesh. So I got another one from eBay at a very, very good price. Yep. And some other um, Jurassic Park figures. Basically, still work in progress. So you know, I have plenty of space right over here. Yep. And moving on. This is another diorama set, you know, with the Mosasaurus and the skeleton of Indominus Rex with the machine cutting a piece of the Indominus Rex bones. Some boxes right over here and more boxes be below. The Microverse box, which I really love it, so I didn't 
throw it away. Yep. Yeah, so basically this is my level two Jurassic World Midlands section, okay, which is my most favorite section. Let's move on to the basement, my studio. Okay, let's go into my little basement right here. So this is where I do my videos, where I make my videos. I have this desk over here with some lightings. And on top, you can see some nice shelves. Those are some important things in my life, those that really matters to me. Some photos over here, some huge figures over here. And here is like a little shelf where I display some of the Jurassic World um, toys and figures which I didn't place on level 2 Jurassic World Midlands, okay? So you have the super colossal T-Rex right over here. We have this really nice um, display Walmart set which I got from eBay, yep. And here is some other you know, figures that I have, different mask over here. And inside my cupboard, I've actually kept some of my other toys that I've collected in the past. Dino Riders, um, other figures, I've also collected Dragon Balls. I'm a huge fan of basketball, so I have some basketball cards as well. You know, a huge collection of um, David Robinson cards that I have over here. I, I love Manchester United, so I have kept some of my heroes, which is David Beckham. Yep. So, let's take a look at this shelf right over here. So, I call this the Basement Dino Dungeon, okay? So, at the top, you can see some nice PNSO huge figures. I've actually classified and categorized all my dinosaurs according to their brands over here. So for the first row, you can actually see different collecte um, herbivores. So I've categorized them based on their brand as well as you know being herbivores or carnivores. So different ceratopsians right over here. You can see a huge Cyracosaurus, Dinochirus at the back with a Sotosaurus, beautiful collecte. Uh, minifigures. You have a huge sauropods at the back. All right. By placing them at the back, you can allow them to stand out with their long necks. Next row will be Safari LTD. These are some of the new figures, as well as some natural history museum um, collection. Okay, so you can see different figures over here. Moving on to the next row, of that, this is another row of Safari LTD figures. You can see. I've placed them in a diagonal manner. So the left hand side will be facing this direction and the right hand side will be facing this direction. I've tried to keep them as neat as possible because you know by having so many dinosaur figures, if you place them all in different directions, they're gonna look really, really messy. So I'm trying to keep them looking as neat as possible. You have the Diplodocus, you have um, a Patasaurus, beautiful sauropods right over here. And all these are Safari LTD figures. Moving on to the next row, these are some of the, okay, this is actually fallen down, so let's open this up. And all these shelves can be opened, of course, right? Uh, let's pick this up. This is um, an Allosaurus from Favorite Co. So basically, the entire left-hand side are Favorite Co. Um, figures, all right? Parasaurolophus, Stegosaurus, you have a nice Brachiosaurus right behind. And this side right over here is actually Terra by Batat, which I reviewed many years ago, probably like three years ago. Yep, then surprise has been over like, you know, six years old. And this section, which is one of my most favorite section from this shelf, is the prehistoric animals shelf. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, you have like um, saber tooth cat or um, small dawn. Dodecurus, you have um, Sakosuchus, you have Deodon, you have um, Megasaurops, Woolly Mammoth, Cave Bear, beautiful. Arsinoetherium, which is right over here, one of my most favorite figures. That, or um, what's that behind? I can't remember the name, but that's one of the beautiful, really well detailed figures. Moving on to the next row, this is actually not categorized by brand but by species. These are basically prehistoric sea creatures, all right? You have Mosasaurus, Chronosaurus right behind from different brands. Moving on to the next row, you can see these are actually figures from Bully Land. Bully Land, they produce figures which are more appealing to kids, I would say. 
And this row right over here, it's actually um, more collective figures. Yeah, more collective figures. But these are older figures, you can see. Uh, I, I think you, you can't really see well. Let me just turn on the lights. All right, I'm trying to shine more lights on this. Yep, collective figures. Next row, this is actually from Mojo. All right, you can see different repaints. You can basically see. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of this um, repaints. Okay, because I, I felt they could have produced like maybe more species and stuff like that. But still, well done to Mojo. I think they have improved tremendously. Another row of a uh, Mojo. This is basically like a work in progress as well. There's some mini sculptures which I've got from. Um, a local store looks really nice they're like ceramic little figures okay so right behind can see some mojo um sauropods yeah okay so basically this is the dino dungeon shelf yep that's right this is my little studio i have some nanmu studio figures i mean these are just their boxes all the figures are out of the boxes already okay so basically this is my studio all right, and it's time for us to visit our level three shell, which I need you guys to name, okay? Okay, so this is the level three shelf, which I need you guys to help me name it, okay? So basically this little area right here is also a section for uh, Mrs. Dan to actually do her nail business. Yeah, she's actually a nailist. So she can do some new, new jobs over here, conduct some lessons for our students over here. So I need you guys to help me name um, this shelf. Probably, you know, along the lights of like mountain or peak because it's at the top level of my place. So, okay, so let's begin. So basically there are two shelves over here and I've placed the huge dinosaurs at the top. You can see the Legacy Collection of um, Brachiosaurus, you have the Velociraptor, you have the Indominus Rex, T-Rex, and a huge size Godzilla which I've got from Taiwan. So let's take a look at the first shelf over here which is the Nanmu Studio. Okay, I'm gonna turn off uh, one of these lights over here because it's pretty glaring, so yeah. Let's take a look at this, we have the Sinoceratops, T-Rex, Indominus Rex, Indoraptors, Spinosaurus and two Conotaurus. Nanmu Studios is definitely one of the up and coming brands. They are producing figures which are of really high quality. I, I love them a lot. And Peppo, and to let you guys know, Peppo is actually one of my most favorite brands. I mean, it is my all time favorite brand for realistic dinosaur figures. Yes, Peppo is my most favorite brand. But I'm pretty disappointed with the new um, Giganotosaurus, I think that they have came up recently. Recently, uh, I think it looks really weird. But let's take a look at this. Yep, you have this huge, beautiful quadrupedal Spinosaurus. The older Spinosaurus right at the back. The classic T Rex, the tripedal T Rex. Acrocanosaurus, one of the best figures they have produced. Gorgosaurus, you have this Crylophosaurus, which is really, really awesome. You know, this Gorgosaurus. You know, too bad they didn't come up with one which is much bigger in size. Ceratosaurus, one of my most favorites from Peppo and beautiful T-Rex and the weird looking Baryonyx behind. <coughs> Moving on to the next row, which is still dedicated to Peppo. You can see this magnificent Brachiosaurus. And I've placed this, um, is this Chasmosaurus? I can't remember. Pentaceratops right on this um, elevated platform over here some you know figures some mini figures mm -hmm. a pedosaurus and the beautiful magnificent therizinosaurus and moving on to the next row you can see this is actually dedicated to nanmu again you have the mosasaurus you have this indominus rex um head sculpt another cynoceratops another spinosaurus and this really cool looking translucent blue T-Rex. Moving on to the next row, you can see this is dedicated to PNSO. These are the new figures from PNSO. Uh, I'm not too sure if this is from PNSO or, or is this from Nemo. I can't remember. 
It should be from PNSO. Please let me know uh, down below. Megasaurus is definitely from PNSO. You have the beautiful Giganotosaurus right at the back. Yeah, and this is basically work in progress. I have this Kyodo T Rex over here and um, Giganotosaurus from Eofauna. Okay, yep, that's right. This is actually an Atlasaurus from Eofauna, not from Papo. Moving on to the second shelf, first row, you can see more Pianetto figures right over here. Okay, I'm sorry for the reflection because it's really bright behind me, so you're seeing a plenty of reflection. This section is dedicated to Rebel. Rebel figures. Let me just open this shelf, okay? Uh, I'm back. I should have done this, you know, right from the start. Yeah, so there you go, but you, you're still seeing reflection anyway. So you have Rebel, you have... um. Some figures from Vitae, and Vitae has produced this really, really awesome Giganotosaurus. And this section, I spent kind of, I mean, quite a lot of effort and time on this section to make this like a beautiful diorama, so that you know when kids accompany their parents here to um, do their nails, they can actually take a look at this beautiful diorama. If this cave set over here, this waterfall set from Schleich, and this section is just dedicated to Schleich only. I've basically placed Schleich in this shelf. I've actually, I actually love Schleich quite a lot, although their, their figures are not accurate. I love the detailing, I love the vibrant colors. I know many collectors, they don't really like Schleich figures, but not me. I'm a huge fan of Schleich figures. I feel they are appealing to kids and they are appealing to myself as well. I, I love Schleich, to be honest. This Therabidal... Therabidal... <laughs> Beg your pardon, Therizinosaurus is actually very weird looking, but it caught my attention while I was in Toys R Us, you know, many years back. Because of its colors, of its, of its sculpt, of its pose, I feel it looks really good. And that is what it's so amazing about Schleich. They, they produce figures which are really bright and cheery, and that will definitely you know, cheer up um, the later young ones. But if you take a look at their herbivores, for example, the Triceratops, they are so well detailed, they're so well made. It's just that they have some issues with creating realistic carnivores. Yeah, if you take a look at this, the T-Rex, but they, they look fantastic. The texturing is good. Everything is good. I, I love this golden T-Rex. I just love like, yeah. I would say Schleich is my second most favorite brand after Papo. I know many collectors will be saying, are, are you kidding me? Yeah, I mean, Papo, Nanmu, and Schleich, these are some of my most favorite brands. But you guys? Yep, so Schleich definitely has some, you know, they, they're made of dreams, I feel. Yeah, for little kids as, as well as for myself. And I respect them for, for that, not trying to be um, you know, like other companies producing really like two realistic figures. Yep. So this is my third shelf. So I think we have all been waiting for the next event, which is the giveaway, right? Now is the time for giveaway. Okay, I'm giving away three different dinosaur boxes, three different sets to three different fans, okay? So the first one right over here is the Extreme Chomping Spinosaurus, which is really rare. So I've got one in the box and I'm preparing to give it away to one of the uh, most favorite dinosaurs. So this is not to be given away. Okay, this epic Roaring T-Rex, which is really nice. And the new Camp Cretaceous 15 minute figure set. So how can you win this giveaway? Don't leave comments right over here saying that you want to win because there's no way for me to contact you. So drop me a DM on Facebook or Instagram, but you need to answer this question, okay? So which is my most favorite shelf, okay? Just let me know down, I mean, in, on Instagram or Facebook. To, a hint for you, my most favorite shelf, it's the level two shelf. So what is it called? What did I call my level two shelf? Jurassic summer thing? You know, check out the video again. And you have to follow me on um, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Send me a DM on either Facebook or Instagram and let me know which you want to win. Is it the Legacy Collection, um, Spinosaurus, the T-Rex, or the 15 mini set, okay? 
and let me know what is my most favorite shelf. Level two, what? Let me know, and the dinosaur that you want to win. Okay, and I will contact you. I'll contact three different people. Okay, so stay tuned for that. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. All right, so this is the level two Jurassic Midlands. All right, Jurassic World Midlands. So, yep, I will see you guys in the next video. Hope that you guys enjoy this video and thanks for subscribing. You know, it's been incredible that we have hit 1 million subscribers. And I'll be doing a Q&A really soon. So if you have any questions that you want to ask me, you can actually put them down below. Goodbye.